Well, we found this awesome conspiracy theorist to explain what an uncleared level is. There's a secret that Nintendo doesn't want you to know about. Cleared, uncleared, it doesn't make a difference. Why do you think Simple's been able to make all these videos in the first place? Why do you think he still keeps needing to explain to you what an uncleared level is? You see, the truth is... So you want to know about uncleared levels? You remind me a lot of myself when I was about that big. It's a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Because a lot like in Alice in Wonderland, you go down that rabbit hole, you end up like me. Alright? I'm gonna play you some footage from Mario Maker, alright? And I want you to watch closely. You see? Mario running along. What was that? Did you see what that was? He just got smaller. It's not just Mario that Nintendo can pull this little trick on, alright? It's folks like you and me. If you think for a second, uncleared levels aren't levels that haven't been attempted. No, no, no. They're levels that haven't been cleared. There's been plenty of attempts. Have you ever asked yourself the question, what happened to those people? You're looking at one of them right here. Right in front of you. It gets worse than this. It gets a lot worse. I've seen, I've seen people smaller. I've seen people get even smaller. You throw a desert bus at somebody, they might end up three inches tall. I'm a towering four inches, which is quite larger than average. The only reason I'm telling you this is because I don't want what happened to me to happen to someone else. And if somebody out there can find a mushroom that'll make me big again, just maybe my life can return back to normal. The hope for that is wearing very thin these days. Anyways, they haven't been clear. That's, that's pretty much it, actually. people who don't think either Mario 2 is part of the Super Mario series, and there's considerably more of them than I had expected. In fact, there's slightly more people who responded saying neither Mario 2 is a Super Mario game than people who said Mario USA is a Super Mario game but not the Lost Levels. I think it's understandable why more people include I've the been Lost saying Levels this. than Mario USA find at SuperMario.com. To be fair, it makes sense that Nintendo of America would present it this way. From their perspective, the Lost Levels is an unreleased game. They're the ones who lost these levels in the first place after all, but it's not like this game is completely non-existent outside of Japan. I'm talking, of course, about the Super Mario Land games. The Mario Lands are a special case in the Super Mario series. They're included more often than not, but they're significantly less clear-cut than the other games we've cool so far. Mario Land 1 was included by about 80% of respondents, and Mario Land 2 was only included by around two-thirds of respondents. There's a few reasons why these games are somewhat ambiguous. The first is, again, home console purism. These two games were both released for the Game Boy, after all. But it's not that simple, of course. As early handheld games, the Mario Lands have a completely different vibe from the other Super Mario Yeah, I've been kind of worried about that. Mostly due to the for, limitations of the hardware. Back my mind bio. Mario Land 1 in particular was really janky. The other big factor is the existence of Wario Land. For Mario Land and Mario Land 2 to be Super Mario games, but not Wario Land. The other two most common opinions on the matter are roughly equal. And we just got whacked. I none saw of the that. Mario Lands are Super Mario games. But on paper, it should count. The most obvious thing about it is that Mario Meaning is there in it. You don't play as Mario, you play as Wario. Personally, I would you? say this list is complete. There are 18 Super Mario games, simply because there are 18 games that a clear uh -huh. majority of people, over two thirds, can agree are Super Mario games. It still represents less than 2% okay, of no. everyone who responded to the survey. At the time of writing, the most recently released game that more people than not would describe as a Super Mario game is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. This Switch cartridge includes two games, the Switch port <laughs> of 3D World and the new game Bowser's Fury. So what's up with Bowser's Fury? However, Super Mario Bros and Duck Hunt were also released separately. That's not the case for Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury That's what I'm is saying, dude. Three D World Game Engine. It's like some it's random Discord server with forty but the people in it. It's significantly different. It's a three D collectathon by itself, and another for a three D World plus Bowser's Fury. Most people selected at least one of those options. <laughs> And Fury it was Sun time for her to go. Game, but not the bundle. So I hope she's better off now. This suggests that most people think that Bowser's Fury on its own is not a Super Mario game. Bundle New Super Mario Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U was released, with both Enzim Boo and Enzlu on the The lamp's going to be there then, in the balloon. Oh. A port of New Super After all this Mario time. Bros. U plus New Super Luigi U was made for the Switch. A long game. But also unlike Bowser's Fury, that standalone David, game blind. is just... Of course, there's another sillier argument against this game. You're not playing as Mario in New Super Luigi U. You're playing as as Luigi, so it can't be a Mario game. Remember, this was one of the key points against Wario Land, so this really does matter. Between these, uh, why is that a bad argument? Versions of New Super Mario Bros. U. There's a, a fucking Luigi game. Super Mario games, right? I mean, I certainly. Think so. <laughs>
as you probably expected. He's engagement baiting me. I would like to focus on the third largest group here, however. The people who said that exactly two of these versions of New Super U count as Super Mario games. This group is split almost evenly between people who say the two Super Mario games in that set are Mario U and Luigi U, and people who say the two games are Mario U and Mario U Deluxe, with just slightly more people in the New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe camp. I don't really understand this viewpoint. That New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is a separate Super Mario game from New now, Super Mario Now, if I was making these lists, not New Super Luigi U on its own, or the bundle that U Deluxe like is a part of. It's like Luigi's Mansion said, 1, this is actually Luigi's Nintendo's Mansion 2, then it's this the game, of website, and it's part of the, the same timeline, and then Luigi's Mansion 3. The See, look, he's, he's there, here it is. <laughs> that said, I completely understand the viewpoint of people who include either or predicting the and time. I have changed my opinion on this matter multiple times over the course of making this video. 64DS has Brush tons of new content, bitch. with new graphics, new playable characters, new courses, new mechanics, and so on. Mario 64DS is one of the handful this is the of the remakes and re-releases that the some same people consider game. to have enough new things to be counted this separately, one under a Luigi game. that remakes in general be what you say to me? This is the case where the limitations Based on yesterday's stream, Mario Maker 2 is the Luigi spin-off? Oh no, not a spin-off. Spin -off. It's a mainline game for Luigi. Games are definitely super but I get what you're saying. Notably, this is the first the part two of this was released outside of Japan. Out of new content, including is part two new or is it like the same stuff the again? Mario Advance games are where things get interesting, I think. Like, do you want to watch Game part Game one and part two, or is it like part two, like part two is a more thorough version of the first one? Should I just go to part two, or do we want to finish this? Part, watch games. both? Okay, okay. Yeah, never know how people the make their follow ups. Sometimes the data of individual levels to people basically redo the whole argument from the ground up so that people don't even bother with the first one type of thing. Part two doesn't make sense on its own? Okay, good to know. Super Mario Advance 4. And sure, throw in Mario 64 DS while you're at it. The rest of these Glad I asked. have as much going for them, but their inclusion as entries in the Super Mario series depends on what your standards are for what counts as a unique game. Mario games. I feel tired they today. Consider remakes in general to count, since there's still a few pretty important games that haven't been brought up yet. For now, we'll just leave it at these remakes of the NES Famicom games. You guys are all on the same World, fucking Yoshi's page Island, immediately. <laughs> Wait, Yoshi's Island? Why? Mario How come? Yoshi's Wonder why? Is the single most ambiguous <laughs> regarding its inclusion in this series. Opinions surrounding this game is almost exactly down the middle. Wikipedia says this game is part of the Super Mario series, and the Super Mario wiki says it isn't. This is not right, a fucking Mario so game. Wrong. Here's the main argument in favor I know I've been of saying that shit about the Luigi's all, thing. It's called Super Mario World 2. Practically but this isn't a Mario, Mario game. Mario World is unambiguously part of this series, and Yoshi's Island is a direct sequel to Mario World. So that settles it, right? Jeremy Mutter than a fucking anything about is, Mario. But Hold on, right? Because remember, there's official websites from Nintendo that have lists of Super Mario games. Ask him what frame of Nintendo carpet list this is, he'll have no Nintendo clue what you're talking about. lists exclude Yoshi's Island. Option one, you could say that Yoshi's Island is not part of the Super Mario series because it's part of the completely separate Yoshi series. Option two, you could say that, yeah, there is a <laughs> there's another about Squish logic? A distinct thing from the Super you're talking Mario about that series, remote Yoshi's Island Squish activation? Part of it because it's part of the Super Mario series instead. Option three, you could say that Yoshi's Island is part of the Super Mario series and the Yoshi series. Nothing stopping a game from being in two series at the the same time. Option four, you could say that there is no divide between the Yoshi series and the Super Mario series. The two series are one and the same. And option five, I you could say that yes, Yoshi's Island is part of the Yoshi Me series personally, the Super Mario series. They made a game a sequel to Super and they're like, Mario damn, this is a so fucking nice Super game. World but nobody's gonna buy this. What do we do? And not the Super Mario series. Wait, do you hear that? Let's Why replace the main Mario character Land with Mario. Mario Land. So Wario Land isn't a very Holy shit. To Yoshi's Island. Both games have You're right, that's that genius. It worked for Mario too. We can do it again. And both games also were the starting point Scene. in a completely separate series of games. If you think Yoshi's Island is a Super Mario game, that doesn't mean it's completely irrational to not also think that Wario Land is a Super Mario game. I think that that's Second, probably true. it's actually true. really common for people to use Wario Land as evidence that the first two Mario Lands can't be part of the Super Mario series. What's the correct answer here? Well, obviously, there isn't a correct answer. It's no. all subjective. You can choose to analyze There's a correct subjective or take, though, and it's me. And so I'm right. About half of you will disagree with that, which is completely okay. There's the, the most correct really you can be <laughs> on a nuanced that's like topic. The whole point of this video. And that's me. Just give you one list of Super Mario games and say that's the right answer. Was that a good transition? I'm talking about Mario Maker now. Most people agree that the Mario Maker games are not part of the Super Mario series, but there is still a lot of ambiguity surrounding them. Interestingly, Maker and Maker 2 are two of the 20 games that Wikipedia, the Super Mario Wiki, and the two Nintendo websites all agree are part of the series. The main thing going against the Maker games is- No, I would have said it's not a main game, but after that story mode yesterday, Mario platforming gameplay, playing courses they, they put more really effort into that than anything else. Is creating your own courses. Both Mario Makers have selections of 
original courses included in the base game. So you could oh, right. Maker one didn't have either that. of them without ever playing any online courses or creating any yourself. Mario Maker 2 is slightly more fleshed out in this aspect, featuring what can generously be described as a story mode. And if you're thinking of the Mario Maker games in terms Mario of Maker 1 is a tech demo for their full game Mario Maker 2, which is objectively worse and has a story mode. <laughs> About a year after Mario Maker 1 was released for the Wii U, uh, objectively worse, it's too far. There's more this stuff is, in practically it, but... speaking, just a worse version of Super Mario Maker. You couldn't upload levels online. Arguably worse. People had uploaded from the Wii U version is a different game from Mario Maker for Wii U. I but always forget Mario Maker is a 3DS port as Maker. well. When people think about That's playing Super Dream Mario Maker, I don't think most people think of the sample courses or Mario Maker 2's story. Has everything been good with the timer? Original levels and playing levels made by random people. Last online. night, as for whether playing courses or making courses is the main I had to defuse the fucking bomb. Interpretation. All analyses of these games are valid. There's I no pushed the button. Here. It could go either way. Who's to say for sure what the focus and it wasn't is working? Really is truly. But the it's timer is still one way or down. Oh, yeah, remember Super Mario Run? You know that like, mobile huh. game from 2016. I was pushing it and it's not doing it. For lists of Super Mario games called oh. this one part of the Super Mario series, but is it? Very few people seem to think so. In the survey, it ranks lower than the canceled Nintendo 64 DD sequel to. So. It's not like I definitely fixed it, not a Super Mario game, but there's more agreement that was this I worried? isn't part of the series. Not this really. Some of the games I was comfortable saying unambiguously are part of the series. So, okay. Why isn't this game a Super Mario game? Nintendo has officially referred to it as a mainline entry in the series, so is that enough? Much like the Maker games, genre plays an important role here. While Super Mario, I just sat here and thought about my options Mario for like 30 seconds before I even got up and did anything. Super in the title. It's I wasn't really exactly that worried. A 2D platformer. It's an auto runner game. Another factor is an updated version. I unplugged the, the USB and plugged it back in. Super Mario Run is a mobile game. Super Mario Bros. Special is a sequel to Super Mario Bros. developed by Hudson Soft for the PC8801 and Sharp X1 computers. Its gameplay is about as faithful to Mario what even is this game? The hardware they were working on, but the fact that it wasn't developed or published by Nintendo makes it hard to justify calling it part of the actual series. That said, uh, no. How come we didn't play this? Yeah, exactly. Me and Nathan were, were meant to play every Mario also, game. Most Super Mario games were made by we had behind Mario firm, two people strong choices. We didn't cut any corners. Especially every single Mario game was played. A programmer for a Mario game and since 2004. And all the ones that aren't Mario games weren't played. For a Mario game since but we missed this one. Unless Yoshi's Island isn't a Mario game, then it was 1993. Also, Toshihiko Nakago was credited as a the level design advisor for both of the new Super games released in 2012. Since that was the last time Shigeru Miyamoto had any sort of actual active role in the development of a Super Mario game and not just general producer or supervisor or like I said, concept. So for Super Mario, he's not going to know what the frame the game was made for is the clear carpet list that is whatsoever. Differentiates it from the canon Mario games. He's disconnected from the scene. Design. Like seriously, the main reason to consider Super Mario Bros. Special to not be part of the series is just its vibes, you know. Like nonetheless, Hotel Mario was one of the most common games people wrote in for other with some specifying that they were only doing this looks like i'm a prisoner with a night rough well this is a joke now i, I must be a mr a beast prisoner because i got a comfy recliner and like well beverages and stuff game. years before hotel mario was it was pretty hard season, though super um mario World began development for the cdi this game was going to be called super it was, mario's wacky that's pretty difficult i would say for about half a year before being shelved in 1993 many super mario games that could have been released the balloon scary dude so unless you're satisfied with that then there needs to be some sort of standard of existence for a game to be part of this series. Super Mario Bros. 35 was an online multiplayer version of the original Super Mario Bros. created for Switch as part of the 35th anniversary of the Super Mario Can you believe series. I never played this? This game doesn't exist. It did exist for a while, but it doesn't anymore. The game was taken offline and made completely impossible to play on April 1st, 2021. Is there a difference between Mario 35 and those unreleased games? And if so, what is it? There's a couple different relevant things here. It sucked. Here. The more you missed that. It was fun. I think Duality. Is that Mario 35 it was, was so fucking fun. And released it sucked. Point, even though it's impossible <laughs> The other is that, unlike those unreleased games, Mario 35 wasn't a completely original game. It was a different version of Super Mario Bros. Also made for the 35th anniversary of the series was Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a collection of slightly updated ports of three 3D Super Mario games. This too Nintendo's, was only available- They were on their NFT time. shit However, that year. this game still exists. You can't buy it from Nintendo anymore, but like, you can still play it. You can still buy physical copies secondhand for way too much money. If the requirement for a game existing is the ability to- Nintendo saw everyone out doing NFTs and like literally just was like, here's how we do it. Yet there are other Super 
Super Mario games that are, just like Super Mario Bros. 35, completely impossible to play legally, due to being released through a- Yo, thank you, Mega. I appreciate it. Taking offline. These are the games released for the Satella View. The Satella View was an add-on for the Super Famicom that allowed games- <laughs> in Japan I completely to agree. Broadcasted through a they did it with all, a bunch of handhelds, too, like the really NES so, Zelda classic thing or whatever. That was like a limited yes, run. It was, it was all happening in like the same release of the time, like the same year, too. While the gameplay was mostly- it was definitely a year for Spirit Street. took full advantage of the satellite broadcast format, featuring radio quality, background music, and full voice acting. See, it wasn't just a game. BS Super Mario USA was also Holy a shit, drama, Smash Tomatoes. It took me a while to dissect what you said and like who you said it to, but going on in the story. Wow. It's such a wild concept, it's almost ahead of its time. The other versions are really just Super Mario All-Stars again. There was that time it was bundled with a slightly different version of Super Mario World on the SNES, and there was also the Wii version that was just a Super Nintendo ROM on a Wii disc. And honestly, All-Stars and Mario 64 Super Nintendo ROM on a Wii, Super Wii Super disc is real. I completely comfortable calling full remakes and not just enhanced ports. I look like I haven't slept in five days. That's obviously Damn. completely fine. Outside of the remakes already discussed, the majority good. of remaining Super Mario re-releases are pretty unambiguously not separate games. In fact, there's really no ambiguity with this one. Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch is very clearly not the same game as Super Mario Bros. NES. But is it a Super Mario game? It is a platformer, kinda, that features Mario as the main character <laughs> and it has I can Super see Mario what... in the title. He's made so many claims that... ...discussing Nintendo's old franchises, and I absolutely believe that these pockets... Right or games wrong, still have value and should the comment useful. section was but, uh, going to guarantee games, a part like, two of this video. Video was made a game with video but wait you say super mario brothers game and watch and you say game and watch super mario brothers and you say super mario brothers game watch what about the super mario brothers watch that's right the mcdonald's happy meal super <laughs> mario brothers watch is this part of the Super Mario that, series? All of is that was the most intense shit I've Super seen Mario in a while. Or not? <laughs> you would have loved that. Acknowledge the existence of Mario's egg catch, Luigi's hammer toss, and Princess Toadstool's castle run? There are so many of these games is the thing. With the idea that maybe it doesn't Nintendo make sense loves to say stuff that the like Super that, Mario series is a thing in the first place. Although Wikipedia's Super Mario series template also calls Yoshi's Island not mm. a spin-off, so Captain there's Toad a could be a mainline Luigi some people single out as, as well. part of the mainline Super Mario series. I think this is a case where an analysis well, Calls the thing is, Yoshi's Island series. isn't a Luigi's it makes game. More sense, but I can see why someone else might want to include these. But I can super see why people Mario argue it could be a Mario one. Since it's another platformer with both Super and Mario in the title. I guess You'll some of the that, games are more like platformers. People get divorced the for that. Of Mario's Time Machine looks vaguely like a platformer, kinda. The connection of being the same genre, platformer, is important, but I don't think genre alone is enough. Obviously, a lot of people disagree with that, which I actively encourage. If you want to argue that every platformer Big blast in the Mario happens. franchise is part of the mainline Super Mario series, please do. I just want you to be aware of exactly exactly what that entails, because this franchise has a lot of platformers. I think the most interesting rabbit hole here is found with Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. I think no. a lot of people who don't know I can't handle seeing an HD. That Holy shit. Game, but it's not. That requires it's so much simple. processing power. Levels in the running to qualify as a Super Mario game. There was a spiritual successor of sorts to Game Boy Donkey Kong for the Game Boy Advance called Mario vs. Donkey Kong. If you've heard of the vs. Donkey Kong games before, you can probably predict it. So uh, this game is about how Mario set up his own toy company that manufactures scary, these mini yes. Mario toys, and Donkey Kong Jake steals all of them, so Mario has to get them back. And that is what the Mario vs. Donkey Kong games have been <laughs> Just This Carl. series has successfully Ship of theseus itself from a revamped take on the original Donkey Kong into mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge. Also, How much uh, longer is this challenge exists. running? Mario is there. There are hundreds like five of or six more hours, and even more that don't. Most gamers agree that some, but I've been streaming for like 114 make up hours. Some sort of nebulous series of games that either mostly or entirely consists of platformers. The most commonly held mind is what this series is, but almost rest. everyone disagrees with it at least a little bit. Some people consider the new soups to be separate, and some people consider some or all three Mario's to be separate. New Super Luigi U and Bowser's Fury. I mean, it's Fury big, but it shouldn't weigh more than a balloon. I'll probably wear something in my face just in case I get owned, like a deck gear and just carry the whole unit out. Status, ranges from excluding all of them once it's out of the house it's in fine the case there is no meaningful number of super mario games that you can give due to just how many times nintendo has re-released their old games in slightly different forms there are also several games that are extremely if i did so they're a, generally not this challenge again super mario series however it's likely that if more people Although I'd, these games existed they would have similar uh, controversy surrounding them as there is for games like yoshi's island the level i wouldn't of but like if i was going to change something fascinating and it's only increasing i think the minimum of three minutes or two minutes might have been better safe guess that between when this video is made and the time you're watching it another 
Super Mario game has been released that we here Instead in the past don't know about yet. And there's a very good chance that it'll be another weird edge case like the next year. Or Super I'd like to do something next year or that, during or the semesters, but unambiguous. I've been Jan Measley. And please stop saying that Jumpman and Mario are different characters. It doesn't make any sense. And there's so much stuff in the text of these games that directly contradicts it. Um, all right, I guess I'm running it back. When Super Mario Bros. Wait, this was two hours last long? Year, it was very exciting. After all, it's the first mainline 2D Super Mario game there's been since 2012. I mean, 2019. Wait, actually, I'm Jan Measley, and how many Super Mario games are there now? Super Massive Galaxy, $30 NES release, Tail Tree, Coin World are new, but they're the same. New Super Mario, Mario fuck? and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games. Skip, Squeak, Block, Stepper, Pinkle, Peach, Treacher, Tracker, Rhythm, Heaven, Mega Mix, Baby Metal, Sound. You're in this one, Devin? I'm aware that the official way to say it is the Super Mario Brothers Wonder game for the Nintendo Switch system, but I just don't want to say it like that. Anyway, Dude, this guy's the second mainline video in the how many. Hold on, this guy's a fucking hardened YouTube veteran between this video and the last one. I just want to see when the dates are. This was two months ago. Am I blind? Am I blind? Am I blind? Am I blind? Here's a new one. Wait, why am I overcomplicating this? Three years. Yeah, so like, the difference between three years and two months. It, he's fucking so done with the commenters already. <laughs> um, I should get this out of the way now. <laughs> what a glow up for this guy. Yes, I'm saying it like bros. It's the pronunciation. Simple I flip, no S. Got to tears one sub. Nice. It is the Super Mario Brothers Wonder Game for the Nintendo Switch system. It's the third, fourth, or fifth of these videos overall, depending on how you count it. The first I don't think so, Nintendo. I feel like we wound up on the dark side of the internet, but what's crazy is someone we grew up with held our hand and took us there. <laughs> like I can't even believe that. Agreement about what games are actually part of it. Video. I made a survey asking people to classify a set of 54 different. Mario games, explaining that by the Super Mario series, what a crazy Mario games, and just to be as clear as possible, <laughs> that is how I'll be using the term Super Mario. I'm like gonna DM a few people and be like, Have you ever seen these say, videos? <laughs> like, did you know he was doing this? <laughs> Not that I'm a drama star or anything, but I just want to ask a few of my peers if they already knew. They're like, Oh, yeah, generally, that statement is doing a lot of work. After all, to start the drama, nah. I just want to ask around. people. But in my experience making polls and surveys, it is very hard to set up a question in a way where it's obvious that if you don't have an answer, you're supposed to skip it. Like, every time I've made a survey that has a question with a text box that says it's optional, without fail, several people always type NA or something like that instead of leaving the text box empty. So by allowing people to say unsure for questions they're unsure of, I provide a way for people to indicate that they don't have an answer to the question without it feeling YouTuber like YouTuber desperately wants to use a statistics course, degree. This didn't completely work. A lot of people still felt like they had to give a firm statement Valid, yeah. single game and told me directly. This is me trying to get you guys to take a psych survey and picking sure. answers one through five. However, I also provided links instead to of yes or no. the articles about every game. The super short version is that you should take all the statistics I'll be referencing for the rest of this video with a grain of salt because they're not necessarily reflective of the general population. These it's against the law to say that bombs are illegal. True. To put aside a few hours to classify a couple hundred Mario games. That said, the results were very interesting and provided me with some great insights into how people classify a bunch of the weird edge cases justifications for some of the stranger choices they would make this guy has a video about why w is a letter and called w one person wrote a whole parody of we didn't start the fire it's great stuff anyway, honestly that does sound kind of interesting into the weeds here it's worth taking some time to ask why this is even a okay. question in the first place and super mario games are one specific series within that franchise at the time this was how the super mario wiki used these two terms and since then the super mario wiki has stopped doing this currently the wiki uses super mario for both the franchise and the series within it. I respect Epona this happens. It's consistent with how Nintendo seems to use the name Super Mario. However, this makes the key distinction I'm focusing on here a lot harder to talk about. Just from a linguistic He does usually respond to what's called that. Use the term. It's really normal for people nah. to say something like talking about a small Oh no, he's sleep deprived eat that long water. <laughs> on YouTube for examples of blank in every He can't Mario stop milking his cow. He has his AirPods in. Speedrun marathon of 
every Super Mario game. Well, you do occasionally find a Mario game. Do that of range, I guess. And yet, there is no consensus <laughs> at all for Can I compliment Rosie for you? I'll bank one for you. These 18 games, which should look pretty familiar to those of you who've seen my previous video about this subject, which I'm pretty sure is just because Cosmic considers these two titles to be the same game and the Switch oh. version is better for speedrunning. You're cool, Rosie. In a slightly Courtesy different of form is that also used for Copycat's video, the worst glitches in every Super Mario game. New Super Mario Bros for the Nintendo. How many Wii days U. since Grand Sleep? Probably like five. This 18 video by musician Family Jewels titled "The Super Mario Super Medley: A Collaborative Musical Tribute to the History of Mario Family Jewels." This video also includes New Super Mario, which is a fun choice. In the 2023 video, "How Fast Can You Touch a Koopa in Every Mario Game?" YouTuber Jorts extends the familiar list without New Super Luigi U to include Super Mario Bros. Wonder. However, very interestingly, this video also contains an explanation of what games are included in the ranking, and this explanation uh, her name's indicates Rosie. that the writers for Switch Stop consider the games ranked in this video to be a subset of the Super Mario series, but because it didn't make sense to include them in this specific video. So yeah, that's fun. This anyway, guy's a certified yeah. <laughs> useless peaches in every Mario game, with a thumbnail that seems to suggest that Jeremy here considers the 2023 animated Mario movie to count as a Mario game. 2024 posted short after Wonder was released has clips of the final bosses in 24 Mario games. Of course, if you're looking for a list that includes Super Mario Maker for Nintendo, oh my god, yeah. you'll have to watch Game Maker's tool This guy's talking to save as much time as he can. It's already a two-hour video. Creator Mark Brown refers to this impressive stack of game boxes and cartridges as, quote, every single mainline entry in the Super Mario Brothers series. And seriously, my compliments to Mark for actually having the guts to include Maker for 3DS here. I don't know if that's because he genuinely considers it to be a proper entry in the series or as a re-release of the first Mario Maker. How much is left of the stream? Again, like five hours or something? Not all remakes. Anyway, in the actual video outside this one, this is two hours, yeah, but we're probably not watching the whole thing. I'm drinking caffeine, I'm gonna wake up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might play some Tetris, I might play Galaxy. Which I don't think is meant to be an example of the game in the series, but who knows? You know, but yeah, we're not finishing this video, I'm just waking up. There's also a Mario Maker level I'm like halfway done with, but I don't know if I have it in me to work on that today. Oops. Okay, one more. In 2022, Dude. Days did a oh no, you love Agaria. <laughs> it's so real. Whenever she died. And the final set of games she ended up playing for that stream is fascinating. Not playing Paper Mario. <laughs> I mean, like, that's... I would, I would love to, but I think that needs its own stream. Does this count as a mainline Mario game? I think so. Yes, I watched the entire 10-hour stream while taking notes explicitly so I could figure out how one of my favorite streamers conceptualizes the Super Mario series. It was absolutely worth it. What did it say about the map then? Yep. Streamers conceptualizes the Super Mario series. Yep, it was that's so real cool. though. Now this isn't necessarily representative of what if games you grew up playing Rhythm Heaven and no one in the world in the stream had it but you. Games that she doesn't have means <laughs> a lone club out there. She doesn't consider Super Mario Kart to really be part of the series, and possibly also Donkey Rhythm Kong. Rhythm Heaven's cool as well. Wait a minute, it, is the original Donkey Kong? Is the original Donkey Kong on here? Cause I want to play that one. That's a Mario game. Oh, this is a separate timeline, though, so it doesn't matter that it's out of order. So what point am I trying to make here? How are we on this? This almost sounds so un... Why are we talking about this in a video like this? It's beautiful in a sense that all these competing analyses of this series coexist. And yes, the survey itself, as it did last time, indicates that there is no consensus. That has not changed. However, it's worth noting Fair enough. That it was I asked at the exact right time. Consensus ...than it was the first time around. Almost As a guy who understands the benefits of uploading long videos survey, financially, there were more options for each game than just yes or no. Extracting each respondent's personal list of mainline Super Mario games from their answers. <laughs> Dude, I basically did think a Steve thing was happening the way again. I decided to count it is that if someone counts a game as part of the series, then they probably will have said it's a mainline Super Mario game for the question that asks them to categorize it, and yes to the question that asks if it's a distinct entry in the Super Mario series. So their personal list of games should be the set of games where they answer in that specific way to both questions. I wish I was in this I video. That makes sense. Right, the bottom line here is that the most common list of Holy fuck, was do you think I could have I could have added to this discussion? Me and Nathan should have been Wonder interviewed for this. Say, Mario 1, both Mario 2s, 3 Land World. Once you open the door to like someone who streams Rhythm Heaven is a voice of reason. I should be a voice too. It's crossed the 5% threshold. They couldn't afford me. I'm free as fuck. You have to say like two or three nice things to me. And I'm like, all right, I'll help. 20. But that's not the most what do you need, traveler? Results of the two surveys. That would be how they
the sheer size of the data is a whole order of magnitude larger in the newer survey. In the 2021 survey, there was a relatively smooth gradient from the Dude, what are you watching? part of the series to the games most people considered not part of the series. That is a night and day undeniable I just woke up a bit ago, yeah. between these two sets of games. So how did Flavor this happen? Why is this different cherry so limeade? I can think of several possible factors. The fact that there are more possible classifications to choose from for each game means that for games where no consensus exists, you would expect the percentage of people choosing each individual option to be lower, thus making the divide between games where consensus exists and games where consensus does not exist much more substantial. The presence of these additional options could also mean that in some cases, people who would have called a game mainline if mainline and spinoff were the only choices instead find that one of these new options describes their opinion better. Because just barely over 95% of participants said that Super Mario 64 is mainline. In fact, if you don't ignore the unsures, Mario 64's inclusion rate is even higher than Mario Wonder. According to this new survey, there are five- I don't think Mario 64 is mainline. User in this series. Mario 1, 3, World 64, and- That's because I'm and Giovanni as fuck, Alpine. Everything. This seriously throws a wrench into my whole analysis from part one. They'd say the mainline games are only the 2D platformers happy. and the 3D platformers are something else. But if over 95% of people individually consider Super Mario 64 to be mainline, that can't be the only thing going on here. I think for the galaxies and 3D places, it's the reasons I went over in part one. For both of these pairs, the two games are more similar- Mario 64 is the first the game in the ROM hacking <laughs> series. Think of them as their own thing. And thanks to the increased number Rosie of options left. people could give for each game, I can now actually check- You get startled every time the pump in the kitchen. So, ninety-eight and a half percent of survey participants said that Super Mario Bros. is a mainline Super Mario game. And I should close the door. The series. And I just about one percent said that it's a mainline Super Mario game, but not a distinct entry in the series. And by reading through, it's the a natural answers, thing that people deal with. They have a Mario pump in the way, kitchen, including it's a balloon inflated for them. Explain their reasoning. I can figure out what people meant by this. And even outside of this, how much longer is the marathon? Mario Today's the final day. People who expressed confusion about what exactly I meant by distinct entry, and I go out of my way to not tell them what I think it means. Then the balloon. Yeah, they're probably challenge. just going to be confused. And since what are the rules don't like? like skipping questions instead of saying they're unsure because they don't know what I mean by distinct entry, they felt obligated one. to figure out what I meant by distinct entry. But since part I two didn't tell them because I really is the final actual test means, where we do five days with a real bomb. Whole experience. And that I is I could do entirely it. my fault. So I would like to apologize to everyone who felt that way taking this survey. Anyway, you put lemon juice on your knuckles and punch the balloon. That sounds cool. Most of them seem to have interpreted distinct as meaning distinctive. After all, just day two, JP. <laughs> reuse countless times in every other corner of the franchise. From how most people taking the balloon game, timer is about as close as you can get to the legal thought like, trap. Well, to make a list well of games I hope to keep Mario getting series, closer to that this game somehow. Separately. Most people used mainline but not distinct to mean, yes, this is a mainline Super Mario game, but that's only because it's the same game as something else that came before it. But mostly it's reassuring that so few people said this. A dozen or so people not taking the survey seriously out of five and a half thousand is a pretty good ratio. That definitely makes me more confident that these results are meaningful. On the other hand, I am bread account probably shouldn't be dismissed. I refuse I have to believe that any significant fraction of those people were trying to say that outside this doesn't happen. I can't believe my school semester starts tomorrow. Of new soup two, that really hasn't settled in for me yet. Like was considered mainline more often than new soup DS. I begin really student weird. life again tomorrow. Around, that discrepancy is completely gone. Was DS was referring to. Am I excited about school or kind of nervous? single game I included the box art system. I'm nervous or the risk of people being confused how high my being asked expectations are of me all but eliminated now at this point you're probably i or even super mario bros wondering are they tried to ace everything i want to graduate with a 4.0 oh so, i promise i do have in some point ways i'm nervous towards. but it's, it's only because i spent half a year gathering this data and during that time i've been my expectations of myself are very very high about both the data itself and the way I nothing else data. really so makes me nervous about though. the results of the 2021 survey oh right it's you just like i want to get an a read over all the big tables really badly whenever showing and also have a perfect memory of my previous video on this subject then you've probably noticed one notable game that was present in the original survey that's absent from these charts to recap in that video you I didn't do 4.0 in undergrad how to interpret the way people classify bowser's fury. honestly bowser's fury only exists it's teaching me my Mario weakest World point like i've always been a grinder i've always been dedicated to making the goal happen no matter what that's never been an issue like you can the weak points have been structure rigidity discipline uh routine those those things i struggle with so i feel like because it doesn't exist as a standalone trying my hardest in undergrad is really good for me part of the series so due to this complexity i think old school runescape makes me more patient yeah well i played it in my formative years i think that's a huge part of it over what i could have done differently what the best way to ask about bowser's fury would have been until finally in 20 
2023 with the new survey, I still didn't have the answer. I could have shuffled my the order of the questions. Actually, I'll just show you this. Text, but I'm asking two questions about each game, and Google Forms doesn't have a way to shuffle the question order while keeping pairs of questions next to each other like this. I do not recommend using Google Forms for Look at this. Forms to make a big survey like this. It is the incorrect tool for this purpose. I could have also made the survey not take as long by grouping some of the Hell yeah, accidental screenshot on top of it. 358 one at a time, but that would have introduced massive bias into the results. If someone tells me they consider every Mario Rosie, Kart I cannot game see. a major spinoff, how am I supposed to know what Rosie. games they consider Mario Kart games? Sure, I can probably... Well, I'll show you when I can see. games like Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart Wii, and Mario Kart 8, just Bowser's Fury, but I could not justify to myself doing that for Bowser's Fury without doing the same thing for every single other game included as a side mode or sub game of some other release. Remember, there are way more than two possible ways people were able to class <laughs> As my happens. I must never use that, but I always have it around. All things considered, a pretty significant plurality. What we really want actually which game had the lowest number of ever since like cleaning up my diet a lot of that stuff has gone away that people disagree with each other for what to call it all right look at this that metric the most ambiguous game in the survey was the arcade game donkey kong jr the most common classification for this game was that it's a major spin-off and not a distinct entry in the super mario series and thank you 19 percent of isn't that fucking crazy i think i was saying yesterday it's not a mainline game There's maybe yesterday at all if it counts as a major that i had hit 3k a not a mario game thank you guys and even more fun, there's also disagreement on That's if it counts as wild. The Super Mario <clears throat> or not. Right, so since each game had two questions, one to put it in a category and one for if it's a distinct entry. I'll try and flesh out emotes when I can after the marathon. Yo, thank you, Nessa. <laughs> thank you, dude. Appreciate that. This was first time ever having 4,000. And honestly, my first time ever having 3,000 was several years ago, so it's been quite a week. Thank you, guys. Mario is non-canon. But it's definitely still a distinct entry in the series. Or I'm not sure what Mario Party Fushigi no Koro is, but it's definitely not a Super Mario game. But something I didn't expect, but probably should. I don't even know what they give you for 4K, but I have it now. Entry, but ask, interpreting it I'm pretty sure it's more emotes or something. Make sense to ask is but I, I gotta flesh or fill out the emotes I currently have. For assuming that the person who asked the question wanted useful information out of the answer. Unfortunately, God in really 4K. In particular, as a Mario game, in Mario the Juggler. Game and watch there are people without gift subs how many gifted there are so it definitely has sometimes i see people here all the time not receive a gift sub like which just hates their guts no it does not again and then i see people come in and be like dude i wasn't even here and i got one hey <laughs> never been here before just got a gift sub anyways good luck or whatever features that would later be used in super mario bros 3 probably just because of the way i chose to explain what the question means what is the least super i am a super mariologist which makes me more upset that he didn't ask any of my opinions i really feel like i could have stepped in and solved it the game that the We're good. people said was a distinct mainline entry in the Super Mario series was the Game & Watch game Chef. Well, technically it was a three-way tie between three Game & Watches, Chef, Fire Attack, and Oil Panic. But of those three, Chef if someone got 21 viewers and get 20 so gift subs, I'm the one who doesn't get Chef. it. <laughs> Not a Mario game. Amen, it's brother. Less of a Mario game than Ball. It seems like all three of them were trying to include every single game I asked about as a mainline Super Mario game. Although worth pointing out, hey, thank you, the Clunker. Committed to the bit and included all 358 games. The one who came closest included every single game I asked about, except for Super Mario 3D World. The vertical axis is how many people. Did you guys see Egg begging for a gift sub? The horizontal axis is how many people. No judgment here. Between the Super Mario series and the. This is a judgment-free zone. Just an inclusion. Rate. I, I look drained. To see what they are. So but I just slept right so here, we good. Have a cluster of the 19 games most people called part of the series from New You're Super confused Mario about the timer? Okay, so I can I can run following further down there's some I'm going to explain the challenge really quick. We are on day 5 though. Basically 5 days ago around 2 or 3 or 4 p.m. I pushed the button for the first time which started the timer for 5 days total, 120 hours. Um the timer has a max duration of 1 hour and every time it gets to four minutes it is pressable when you press it it resets it back to an hour if it hits zero the balloon begins inflating until the point where it explodes so when i'm awake there's not that much of a challenge to hit the button the majority of the challenge is when i'm asleep uh, making sure that the timer doesn't hit zero <clears throat> so this has been like 115 hours out of 120 we have just a bit left before this thing isn't a timer anymore at all. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole premise.
individual bubbles floating out of this boiling pot at the bottom of the chart. These are some of the weirdest games, most of which I already covered extensively in part 1. Now, I would like to draw your attention to this constellation forming a trail out of the cloud of the hundreds of games almost nobody considers mainline. Here we have Super Mario Yes, it gets pumped up with a little bit of air each time the button is pressed too. But that's not to add any, like, it might explode RNG. It's just because it fights any of the deflation over time. Like, it was slowly leaking air, so now that that counteracts that. games individually have a lot of people consider them to be part of the series, but nowhere near an actual majority. Mario Bros. Arcade... Ideally obtuse, I take it to a different location and just let it blow up over there. ...stand out as the game's Wikipedia and the Super Mario Wiki to create are part of the series, even though most fans don't consider them part of the series. And even... Am I concerned it might blow up too much if it resets too often? Uh... Yeah. They often come to wildly different conclusions. Do not oh yeah, what Vic said's true. I could just leave it there. So then, where exactly until it deflated over time. Like, how big it can get and stuff, Vic, or Tub, was and tested. I'd say that it comes straight but my concern is it wasn't tested with glitter flying around in it over the course of five days, you know? Like, there's a lot of nuance and shit that could happen. It'll probably explode if you leave it to play on its own. How does that work? My chat says I'm disconnected, but your messages are still coming through. Anyway, these two websites aren't the only official lists out there. Damn, I can't believe there's four. This channel has 4,000 subs. That's fucking crazy. Insanity. That's funny, Thorn. Yeah, um, I think Mara said that they have a video about <coughs> the letter W, which is pretty cool. I could see myself watching that in my free time. That's what I'm saying, Prozimni, and it's really, like, granular. This video made for the 35th anniversary of Mario 1 in 2020 lists its own strange set. Yo, what's up, Scented Shadow? This bizarre. So, the 2024 video included Land 2, but not Land Yo, thank you, who's on first. The video includes Land 1, but not Land 2. It also skips Galaxy 2, New Soup 2, and New Soup U. That's the weirdest one to me. New Super Mario Bros. U. Like, at the time this video was posted, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe was a recently released game. This is functionally a commercial for Mario, and whoever put it together made the decision to completely skip over a game that had recently been made available for purchase on the Nintendo Switch. You know what I think, though? I think the reason this list skips the two 2012 games is because the real thing this video is selling is the idea that the Super Mario series has been making steady forward progress for 35 years, with each subsequent game introducing exciting new concepts. And it would be inconvenient for that narrative. Well, this is a thick conspiracy. Mario games in particular have been stagnating this guy said, but fuck the mainline game, game question. I'm putting the whole scene on the spotlight. I'm blowing the whole thing up. He went from, he went from, I'm not sure what the mainline games are, to I know why they're lying about the mainline games in, in the span of a few years. <laughs> The, Super Mario Wiki the YouTuber journey is awesome, dude. For what games it considers part of the series. When Shiro Mori called Super Mario Bros. Wonder, quote, the first new two Should I just start making videos where I, like, That's stake some claim and just argue the fuck out of it no matter what? Between new Super Mario and Wonder count as part of the series. Like, I can come up with a lot of support of anything for anything. To get the definitive answer not any claim! Not any claim! Wait, wait, no, no! Alright, yeah, Val, not any claim. But you get what I mean. <laughs> Mr. Comet. What are we supposed to do with this? contradict each other. Someone give me some claim question. that I can like create a whole video, vision about cannot provide the definitive and all of this is inherently subjective. But Maybe I'll do it, but the, I think, but like, what's the claim gotta be? No, get out of here with the woke toad shit. Ideally, it would be something related to this so that I can pull up a bunch of bullshit and, like, act like an official on it. Like, it would have to be kind of engagement baity to work as a premise, but not controversialness, like, at all. Like, just something like this. Yo, what's up? Rack Steve Flipnote. Dude, shout out. Let's go gambling. I can't stop winning. <laughs> what a fucking awesome guy. I just be referencing you when you're not even here and shit. And in the comments of part one, many, many people have tried to quote unquote solve this problem by giving their own objective definitions. One Hope of you're having a good day, dude. These attempts at creating an objective definition that I've seen is one that I'd like to spend some time really dissecting. Is part of the Super Mario. How Mario proves blank, maybe. 
that video, but I just sort of dismissed it without really explaining why. Now, I don't want to say that this- Oh, what if there's something crazy like- Analyzing art here, there are no wrong- How Mario contains that, evidence- someone says something having- Nintendo employees are overworked or something, and like, we pull up a bunch of dialogue from Toads and stuff, and we like, act like it implies this, and then we- Dude, I, tell me that's not the most convincing thing you've ever heard already. Dude, you're already like, holy shit, I can't believe Nintendo's like this. This way. Like, <laughs> that's like actually so real. It's any Mario game, but any... Superintendent Chalmers. It's not the Steve mindset, it's this guy. Look in front of your eyes, Grum. You, you gotta let go of the past, dude. They don't literally mean anything. Like, just I think I could do it. And like, I think I'm really good when it comes to editing at pacing. Setting like the mood or whatever, in terms of just the spoken word and audio. But what I'm not good at is like anything visual related. So if Nolan and Matt were helping me on the other half, we could literally make the best fake video essay ever. But during development, it was called Super Mario Bros. Five. It were common to think that any good one in the title is a mainline Super Mario game. Would I do some sort of Goblin Guy bit? No, I think if I do something like this, you have a really hard time in, unless you like know who I am if it's the first video you've ever seen of me you have a really 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 hard time telling if it's satire uh, just like a couple subtle things here and there that seem very jokish in isolation but are presented quite seriously I don't think I would do any bits that are obvious somebody fun this am I making a second channel for this nah I would just upload it raw as fuck or put it on some Maybe they're referring to some sort of intuition they have. Tell you if something is a mainline Super Mario game. We have a YouTube channel reserved for stuff that basically is like I want people to not be able to see what the normal content looks like for first time impressions. So I I basically am reserving it for bullshit like that. No matter how complicated the regular expression you're plugging it into is, you do not have enough information like to answer Like three or four hours, Ellen, no way of uh, less asking uh, about the NES game, the Game & Watch game, the Nelsonic Game Watch game, the Pinball Machine, the 1993 live-action film, the manga, or the series of activity and coloring books account. And from the opposite perspective, just because two pieces of media have different- You went gambling! Aw, oh, shit! Like, quick pop up. <laughs> mainline sequel. Favorite okay, Super Mario Bros? Guess at what sort of game New Super Mario Bros Wii Coin World is based on its title? How can we think bros instead We're of not brothers? Talking about World Coin from when there's a Super, Super Smash Bros. Wii, that's a different thing. And I'm also not talking about the 3DS game New Super Mario Bros 2, the direct sequel to New Super Mario Bros Wii that takes place in a world of coins. Yep, that's right. New Super Mario Bros Wii Coin World is a slot machine. I know, right? Turning a hit video game into a slot machine? What is this, Konami? But no, this was made by Capcom. The Mario-themed slot machine on the survey that Konami made was Mario Roulette back in 1991, which is a completely different game. Honestly, it's probably a good thing that Mario games aren't consistently named in a way that indicates exactly what they are. Otherwise, every game would be titled like Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Olympic Winter Games. Now, even though you know what I mean? titles alone obviously doesn't work, maybe this idea still has some merit. It was the Rigor Mortis <laughs> happens. So maybe you can use this <laughs> super in the title definition. Any more sleep? In the comments from I feel like I just took a micro nap, to be honest. Honestly, that that fake crease Kart felt kind of like Super therapeutic. It felt is my very meditative. Because I was just like focusing on the individual parts of my hands and stuff that were twitching, and I was like, oh, you don't have to be twitching. It's okay. And just, just be like a statue. And then it just, like started working. I honestly, I feel like I fell asleep. I took a nap, I think. It was kind of nice. All right, let me rewind on this. Sorry, I was yapping. When classifying games, and 78% of people who gave an answer to that question said they were taking titles into account. But only four people said that title was the only of these factors they were considering. So maybe you can use this is super in the title method as a starting point and add more stuff to it until it becomes a useful definition. And in the comments from part one, many people have tried to do exactly that. And very often, what dude, he's pissed. He fucking hates super the commenter. Series consists of the games developed by Nintendo for Nintendo consoles that have Super Mario in the title, excluding RPGs, party games, Mario Kart, sports games and reissues of previously released Super Mario games. This is my favorite definition of Super Mario game. Not that it's the most accurate or useful definition, mind you. It's simply my favorite. I don't want to call out any specific YouTube commenter who said this, but I assure you I have seen variations of this several times, and it makes me smile every time. I don't want to call out any specific commenter. What that means is, from experience, he screenshotted it, sent it to his Nolan, and it's talk shit about him. Every time I see it. 
The reason this is my speculating mission is that it's so meticulously crafted, it accounts for so many edge cases, and it includes I Am a Teacher Super Mario Sweater. I Am a Teacher Super Mario Sweater is a knitting game released in 1986. It was developed by Nintendo for the Nintendo Famicom. It has Super Mario in the title, and it's genre. The overboard. No, speculation. It every single part of the definition. If someone says that this is their personal definition of the Super Mario series, they are saying that I Am a Teacher Super Mario Sweater is a mainline Super Mario game. And isn't that just delightful. I just love the idea of someone doing like a back-to-back -back playthrough of every Super Mario game where they play I Am A Teacher Super Mario Sweater after completing the lost levels. Now, some of the pro gamers watching right now are probably jumping into the comments section to say, Hi, Jan Misely. I'm a gamer and I have a question about I Am A Teacher Super Mario Sweater. Oh, what's your question? Uh, so, I couldn't help but notice that you sort of skipped over one part of the definition you gave. Uh, the part that says Super Mario games are video games. As a gamer, I'd like to think that I know a video game when I see one, and the footage you've been talking over doesn't look like a video game. He hates this community. Well, this is definitely a video game. This is gameplay footage of the Famicom game I Am A Teacher Super Mario Sweater. Uh, really? Because this looks like a Nico Nico video of someone knitting. Yeah, that's what the gameplay of I Am A Teacher Super Mario Sweater is like. This is a game about knitting. Okay, that's not a video game. Yes, it is. You insert the floppy disk into the Famicom disk system, input your measurements, and then you're shown the knitting diagrams for how to make a sweater that has your choice of a Mario character on it. That's a video game. But it's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, could you What's Ray William Johnson's uh, uh, band name? Right now, not the way we're something Martian? One <laughs> lonely Martian or something? Software? My favorite Martian. It's your favorite Martian. Okay, yeah. Described. Anyways. It's software. It's a sweater. That's the guy who's asking him the questions. And it is soft. It is a very popular hobby. Just because it's not your thing. This is probably the place to stop, I feel like. Like, I get it. I think I've heard it's enough. Really weird and different. <laughs> opinion i am a teacher super mario sweater is unambiguously a video game and if you disagree with that assessment i don't think you're ready yet for the stuff i consider to ambiguously be video games sweater is far from the only game that has make it stop the title that's generally <sighs> let's see Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I want to make one of these video essays or whatever. Because you can, you can have a video called How Many Super Mario Games Are There Now? And for seven minutes nearly or whatever, just talk about something like this. And it doesn't, there's not, there's not even seven minutes of shit to talk about. I gotta make one of these. Ooh, sorry, it's, it's gotta be like cathartic to just be talking like this. Yeah, that's just a guy. <laughs> He incorporated himself. <laughs> what the fuck? He is part of the mainline series, but it's still <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Or what about Super Mario Bros. Print World? That's a PC application for That's awesome. pictures of Mario characters. <laughs> Are MS DOS art utilities not your thing? Super I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm like really thinking here. Tetra sounds fun. Consideration puzzle and dragons. Road is. Maybe I have energy for it. That could be honestly a big fucking mistake, though. Compared to the game's definitions like this, often explicitly exclude like Super Mario. Write a video essay. I should do a video of mainline Mario ROM hacks. That's a pretty good premise. I don't think people will get baited into it because of how out there it is. But as like its own premise, I think it's funny without the bait. What if I? <laughs> What if it was a video called How Super Mario 64 Proves Blah 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 and I just talk about like every fucking game? <laughs> like, <laughs> like it starts very like maybe even 15 minutes of just like solid Mario shit. How Super Mario 64 Proves Blink. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure where to go from there. You guys gotta imagine the perspective that you're you're just like firing up YouTube. You got home from work or you got home from school or you just woke up and you're chilling, like whatever your normal circumstances are. And you're gonna see this on your front page and it's gonna say how Super Mario proves like it's gotta be something that you would wanna watch. <laughs> yeah. How Super Mario sixty four proves Nintendo overworks their employees is okay. I'd probably drop Mario sixty four out of that. How? Super Mario 64 proves Shigeru had an accomplice, and it looks like a crime thumbnail. <laughs> That's a good one, yeah, but it's like, what the fuck is a video supposed to be if it's that? <laughs> Miyamoto had an accomplice. I'll put it down, just so I don't lose it. I'm clicking that shit. The mystery person behind Mario 64. 
Dude, the mystery creator behind Mario 64 you've never heard of. <laughs> Dude, you're clicking that and watching forever. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Whose idea did I just piggyback off of? Let me see who said that. The, uh, that was Bakazora who said the mystery person behind Mario 64. <laughs> That's a pretty fucking good one. I like stuff like how SM64 proves a fatal flaw in the human mind. But it's, that's more psychology oriented. That's um, the viewer is going to enter it expecting subjective and opinionated material. I want them to think that they're about to be shown some factual shit or some conspiracy. And I'm only going to fill it with bullshit. So while I do like that idea, I don't know if it fits the premise. I don't know, dude. The mystery creator behind Mario 64 you've never heard of might be one of the craziest ways to go about it. <laughs> Did you give a fucking name? Hold on, let me see. Let me open my thing. Beep. Mergo Thompson, the real creator of Mario 64. Is that a real person, though? No? I mean, there's no one with that name when you Google it. Some close ones, but nothing. Ain't no one on Google with that name. Totally controversial games. Is Super Mario Run a platformer? What about he Super almost Mario deleted game? Mario 64. Mario. Okay. Mario in we can game maybe game combine them. How Mergo Thompson almost deleted Mario 64 like right before release maybe it needs some working on the wording but instead of right before release we'll say on launch day gaslight your entire audience into thinking mario 64 never existed that's a pretty good one how SM64 source code proved the 27-year-old hidden cover-up is kind of crazy. I'll throw that in the list. Use B33 footage. <laughs> oh, thank you, Violet. Oh, shit. There was never a Super Mario 64, and there never was. I gotta use the headset mic, so it sounds a little, like, fuzzy and stuff. What are we talking about? So basically, let me run down the premise for you. We're watching this video, how many Super Mario games are there now? And... <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Um, basically, it's like... It's a very opinionated piece. And somewhere for f at the 52 minute mark... Homie just starts talking about I am a teacher, Super Mario sweater for nine to ten minutes. He's or like for seven minutes, I think. He's he's pretty passionate about it. And like it just really got me thinking that you can make a video about anything you want if you front load it with some factual stuff. Learning this a lot between today and yesterday. So I just kinda like wanna make a video where I just talk about nothing the entire time. I've gotten some ideas written down. Uh, some of mine, some from chat. How Mario 64 proves Miyamoto had an accomplice. The mystery creator behind Mario 64 you've never heard of. How Mergo Thompson almost deleted Mario 64 on launch day. How SM64 source code proves a 27-year-old hidden cover-up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and look, if you ever have some like point you want to make, you just go like, Anyways, that's too deep of a subject. If you want to look deeper into it, I, I encourage you to pause the video and look into this yourself, but it's kind of crazy. You wouldn't believe it. Like, you just do anything you want. Count as reissues of aren't generally called mainline Super Mario games anyway, so it's not as relevant how they're classified. So, like, does this... I gotta put on a classier voice. Oh, for sure. On Nintendo Switch Online, these two games are listed separately, so should a full list of mainline Super Mario games include both? Yeah. Probably not. I gotta be all mysterious and shit talking about Miyamoto's accomplice. 
few Mario games. Now, this absolutely does not mean that the NES Remix games are <laughs> for Mario games. In fact, this Thank you, so game that the fewest people called a distinct entry in the Super Mario series was the Wii U game NES Remix Pack. The physical release containing NES Remix and NES Remix 2. And NES Remix undeniably That was mostly Matt, if not entirely Matt. ...from mainline Super Mario games. There is a lot of mainline Super Mario in NES Remix. It's a direct port that barely changes anything, like New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It's Super Luigi instead of Super... Holy fuck. The hi Okay. The hidden protagonists that almost define Mario 64, and then it's fucking this guy as the thumbnail. Thoughts? Of Super Mario, like New Super Luigi U. It's a side mode within another game and doesn't exist as a Look, I found the exact image I wanted. But what about Speed Mario Bros? Censor his face? Oh yeah, make it a silhouette. It's Mario 1. No, it, that is way too obvious, you're right, but it was the first guy I thought of. But they'll end up throwing a Nintendo Sorry, I couldn't hear that. When you can't explain it, tell them to pause and read about it, but it is some random legal TOS terms and conditions in another language. <laughs> Give me this gym tab, I want this. Championships NES edition when that game drops this July. Uh, not to be confused with Nintendo World Championships 1990. Mario People World love banana names around here. Games. Allow me to turn your attention to the WarioWare series. WarioWare games are made out of these micro games, which are like mini games but way shorter. And almost every game in the WarioWare series has at least one micro game. I think I have seen them just organically, Amaris. How SM64 was responsible for a real life murder. <laughs> There's micro games. I'm just talking about the game the entire time. <laughs> Colon mega micro game dollar sign exclamation point. And that's just Dude, I love anonymous silhouette interview time. joke. There have been so many WarioWare micro games based specifically on the NES game Super Mario Bros. that they collectively add up to well over a hundredth of a milli game and, and the WarioWare series itself. I can't and believe I've watched this video for this long. You know about WarioWare, it may or may not seem weird that there would be micro games based on other WarioWare games, but there are very frequently. In universe, WarioWare is a game development studio that mass produces and sells. But it has inspired me, I think. You play were made by Wario and his friends slash employees. These Nintendo themed micro games are made by 9 volt or sometimes a different number of volt. How Blink is actually the true mastermind and was almost the main focus. And 9 volt is a Nintendo fan. They How Koopa was almost the main character of Mario 64. The WarioWare series. Evidence that Koopa 64 was almost the protagonist or some shit. I, I feel like you want the word evidence in that concept. WarioWare games themselves are uninterested in addressing this contradiction, and I love them for it. But also, evidence that a third Mario brother was removed or was scrapped. Evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario brother. <laughs> Is there already a third Mario brother I don't know of? that someone might take these games into account, but like they don't. How are so many of you guys saying Sponge? Mario games. However, there's this one weird version of Mario One that. Oh, I have to have seen the movie for this. Classifying the mainline series a lot more complicated. And you got Vinny'd? from the lost levels. What I had failed to notice at the time was the relative release dates of these games. Kind of I think evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario Mario Brother lets Mario you talk about Mario fucking about anything. The whole like world of Nintendo is a template now. The lost levels is a reworked version of Versus that adds even more original levels. Enumerating it's too obviously Super fake though. Nah. -uh. An evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario Brother with like a good thumbnail. No. There's no way that that's necessary. Like, I could see myself easily clicking that. Do you have to fool them for an hour? On the contrary, you actually only have to fool them for about 5 to 10 minutes. And then, the door is wide open to talk about anything you want, apparently. And you don't have to even tie the video together at the end, from what I understand. It doesn't even have to come full circle or anything. It doesn't have to come around at all, from what I can tell. 
in this genre. <laughs> which AAA series of video games has the highest average Metacritic score? For uh, my face is covered. My bad. Mainline Super Mario series even exists as a distinct subset of the Mario franchise. Let's say you've heard good things about Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and you want to play it for yourself, but you've never played a Mario game before, and you don't want to jump into a recent installment in a long-running series without the appropriate amount of context. Which games do you need to play first so that when you play Mario Wonder, you're not missing anything? And the answer is simple: none of them. Mario Wonder is. A I just got mentioned in this video. For all ages. Its target audience includes people who have never played a video game before. The full Evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario Brother. Which game rest I'm pretty sure you could read the full title without clicking Evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario Brother. It's not that many words. Mario Bros. style of 2D Mario gameplay. All the new soups are similar enough to each other that you could probably skip all but the first one, though. Oh, you also gotta play New Soup Wii because that's the one that introduced four-player co-op. Obviously, you can't play the, What'd that say? Playing the original first, so Mario 64 is here, too. Now, Mario 64 DS... The third Mario Bros. Waluigi? That's why they don't add him to any of the canon games? Ew. That would be gross if that was true. Most of the playable characters in the Nintendo 64 game Mario Tennis were introduced... Alright, guys. I prepped something for you. A little focus group. ...from the arcade game Donkey Kong Jr. Still not done, though, because when both players... And... Are you ready? second player has a different color scheme. Are you ready to focus on the screen? This is a simulated experience. ...that kinda looks a little bit pink. What do you see first? Almost like pink Donkey Kong Jr. from Donkey Kong Jr. Math. I could keep going. This isn't even remotely how far you could take this concept. I think this is enough to demonstrate that while this approach can be very interesting, it doesn't generate results that align with most people's understanding of the Super Mario series. An idea from one game can show up in another game with- A week of cabin and then Miyamoto. The two games are Damn, how do you compete with Mr. Beast's Super facial Mario recognition, dude? ...outfits based on Mario Paint. The title screen for Super Mario 64 is a variation of an idea that had previously been used in Mario Teaches Typing. Dr. Mario- I'm not saying this would be the thumbnail. Thumbnail, but I don't see why something like this couldn't be the thumbnail. There is an honest to goodness plot point in WarioWare Move It that assumes the player has played the two player endless game. I see a thumbnail like this, the video's two hours long, I'm probably clicking it. Yes, very on topic. Uh, what channel is it in? I, I wasn't listening that closely. Oh, fan art, okay. One second, I'll, I'll, we'll simulate it again. File too large. Fuck! Alright, I'll just show you the image. But are they important enough to the history of Mario to be worth experiencing alongside other legacy media? I Who so, is yeah. Mergo Thompson? Evidence that Nintendo scrapped the third Mario brother. How Mergo Thompson almost deleted Mario 64. And they are still occasionally brought up as part of this discussion. I didn't even notice this fucking silhouette of the I come and pies guy. Occasionally. However, the adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3? Not a single survey respondent thought to mention that show by name. It, was it feels very 11.20 a.m. right now. People's thoughts on these shows, which is why I'm talking about them now. So Mario Imply it's a part two? Ever. More Super evidence Mario that blah blah blah? That's pretty good. Super Mario franchise. There are story arcs covering everything from Mario's Picross... Gamecube overlay on stream? Brother, are you up for 110 hours or me? What kind of Gamecube controller do you have? Episodic story that's been trying to adapt, I repeat, the entire Super Mario franchise into something vaguely resembling one cohesive narrative for over 30 years. And why, yes, we could use this <laughs> list of story arcs. <clears throat> Look, Waterbird, if you want to lose in Melee, now might be the ideal time. In the series. This list starts with I have no energy whatsoever. More games before that, if we include the other manga that were made by the same artist before Super Mario Kun. And the games too, I guess. I'm down to run like a first of five if you wanted to play Waterbird. I don't want to play very long, but I think it could be cool. Oh, I don't even know where my controller is. I think it's in my luggage, actually. Luggage happens. Hey, Rosie. But you know what's even more obscure than Super Mario Kun? The Super Mario manga by artist Kazuki Motoyama. I can't find the full list of... Finish with Mario Party. I'm such a fake gamer, though. You know, it's funny. Everyone who took the survey was like, Hey, why is Tetris for the Game Boy on? I don't even game. Could possibly be a question if Tetris is part of the I look tired. I am a little, just a little bit tired. An official piece of Mario media that includes Tetris as part of the series. What do you mean this character is Dr. Mario's daughter? No, I'll go get some. The 1993 movie, the live action, I still disagree with, but... Do you think... It makes more sense as a theoretical... Because I know what I do. Or would do. But do you think he scripts it? Or he just like has a couple bullet points and fucking talks for 20 minutes? Gets rid of 10 minutes. And there's still 10 minutes. Fully scripted. That's cool.
I honestly, I have such a hard time writing down words and then repeating them. If I can't like nail it organically, I struggle so bad. Still disagree with, but at least it makes more sense as a theoretical. Holy script is crazy for a two-hour so video. Is Super Mario Run a video game? I certainly think so. It's slightly different. Six-hour video and why Toy Story 4 sucks. Mario games is a more inclusive category than Super Mario video game. German Super Mario Land board game does Super Mario. Show. No, well, that's crazy that that exists. Books, like Double Trouble by Clyde Bosco. Some installments of Super Mario Kun have mazes at the end. That's just Those so Mario games. real. I wasn't kidding when I said the 358 games in the survey were not comprehensive. It's very hard for to satisfy like that's fucking crazy, Mr. Comment. Tend to take into consideration when classifying games in this series, and that's what brings three me hours is an insane Super Mario game amount of time. The time of writing, I have but could you imagine creating like Super an hour long that is documentary and uploading both of them at the same time, like you said? Super They're the exact same video, but all of them express the exact opposite opinion. But if you line them up side by side, they're like nearly mirrored. Beyond the edits that would show opposition. Do you think anyone's done that? That's fucking crazy. Red and blue versions of video essays. <laughs> Mario Bros. Game and Watch, a mainline Super Mario game. Yeah, thank you, Frogger. Participants, no, it didn't have the lowest inclusion rate, so it's not like. <laughs> Total consensus that it's not part of the series, but it's still generally not considered a distinct mainline Super Mario game. Super Mario Run was included more often than this game. I talked about this in part one. Oh my god, satisfied that would be awesome, Lonely Foon. The only reason I could think of back then was that the genocide video. We don't count as video games. We have to do the ARG to complete the neutral opinion. Games. They are still games. Dunky did that with Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. If it still plays like video That's games fucking awesome. Mario series. And also, what kind of technicality even is that? And I think that Super Mario Bros. Game Dude, humanity sucks, Lucky. That stuff messes me up. And if I accept that, then I cannot just. How am I doing? Pretty good. I'm in the final stretch. I'm here. You poop. Yes, it sure has a title. Game, but that doesn't make it the same game. And from a game design, doing good, Rooney. Super Mario Bros. Game and Watch is absolutely not the same experience as Super Mario Bros. NES. A games. Do you guys like my neutral position, which is clearly elevated? Like, why is only the third one numbered? Is when I was blindfolded, cheese was all like, uh, you're walking in place. <laughs> like, what, what? The nerve of that guy. Between Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong 3, that was called Donkey Kong 2. We'll ignore these LCD handhelds. Drift does not matter, matter when you have vision. I'm just gonna say it. So many reviews talked about how the first game with Princess Peach as the main character was Super Princess Peach for the Nintendo DS, but like it wasn't. Can someone please acknowledge the existence? Are we of still watching this? Castle Run? And I know you've got me held hostage by my very low amount of sleep and very shitty amount of energy. Be more like merchandise than actual video games. Which is don't feel like cheap. This is peak. <laughs> Because that's what they are. On the subject of the difference between Nintendo games, and other games <sighs> I thought I've already like tried to switch to four things. I still haven't quite addressed I've already tried to load Star Road and was like, eh, no, no, no. I've already tried switching to Tetris and I was like, eh. I've already tried switching the galaxy and I was like, eh, I just don't have it. I, I, at some point, I started taking video essay ideas and I've typed a bunch of those down. <laughs> I can think of reasons why someone might say that, but some of you might be thinking that Princess Toadstool's Castle Run doesn't count because this. I am ready for real sleep eventually. That's the wrong mega corporation. However, none of these three games, Castle Run, Super Princess, I even entertained none of these Melee for a bit there. Made by Nintendo. The Super Mario Bros. Watch games were. Can I do real sleep? I don't know. I'm like kind of. That's like Princess Peach Showtime. Now that the idea of like laying down and going and trying to sleep, is, it feels weird. It was developed. I don't know. Like it feels like. Developers behind Kirby's. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Super Princess Peach is the closest of these games to having been made by Nintendo, but it's still not quite. It was published by Nintendo. And co it's actually insane. Nintendo SPD. In a strictly literal sense, it's like, Nintendo yeah, it's like, <laughs> I figured out why. It's like it, it feels like if I go and get proper sleep, something bad will happen. <laughs> That's exactly what it boils down to. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that is insane. What are they talking about? Who is Nintendo? I think it's like I'm gonna go in there and have a negative experience if I do it. That's fucking awesome. Bro is traumatized. Relax, guys. I think psychology is fascinating. When you're aware of your pitfalls, they're pretty easy to navigate. 
made by so we're observing it and it's just kind of fascinating i think so too alice does it even matter if it's official? This is a I'm afraid of sleeping and just like oversleeping as fuck and I have school and like Super Mario game, then that's the exact Mario same Mario fear that I was having every day which is like if I really truly fall really properly asleep I don't know if I'm gonna wake up even if the alarm's like going crazy. So it's imagining it falling really asleep that is scary. I understand that guy in Freddy Krueger now. Freddy vs. Jason. When do I go to school? By the general like 20 hours from now. Oh, I have the opportunity to get all the sleep I need. It's just scary. Mods and ROM hacks for Super Mario games are pretty common, and there's certainly a fair share of parody games, but full-scale fan games don't tend to survive long enough to become notable. And that's interesting, because there's a sense in which a game existing as a physical thing you could buy at some point makes it more of a quote-unquote real game than something a fan made as a passion project. But at the same time, there's also a sense in which a game being made by someone who, like, cared about making a game that's good makes it feel more legitimate than something made to trick parents into spending their money. All right, look at this. We're looking at bootlegs and knockoffs, there's a whole other can of worms regarding games that are basically Mario games, but that, legally speaking, do not have Mario. Sorry, I'm disrupting your media for this important message. What do you think? Evidence that Mario scrapped the third Mario brother? You saw Minecraft first? That's fucked up. being made by someone who like cared about making a game that's not the best thumbnail in terms of color theory but the title goes hard bootlegs and knockoffs there's a whole other can of worms regarding games that are basically mario games oh, but that legally speaking do not have mario in them it's ambiguous what counts as made by nintendo it's ambiguous chillin'. which title the word Super has to appear in, and it's ambiguous what counts as a reissue of the Super Mario series while disagreeing which specific games are in the <laughs> That's so funny, not the so name cool. Of this chapter and the way I segued into it from the last one, there's one more thing in this definition that hasn't been brought up yet. Now, surely, surely there could not possibly be more than one way to interpret the phrase Mario is a playable character. Some sources say that his full name is Luigi. Yeah, Mario, Devin. So there is a character named Mario who is playable in this game. At that point, the definition becomes about as long as it would have been to just make a list of what games you want to include as part of the series. It's fine as a description of how someone can Maybe. It might be subtle. It's probably a good way to do it. I feel like there's room to show other games entirely too, and just have the wrong franchise game. just straight up doesn't work. And yes, all of these ambiguous points really are relevant. Fun? Mario Random ROM hack footage. Yes, the pinball game for the Game Boy Advance. There is a way you can interpret this definition where it satisfies it. Calling this game a platformer is weird, but it is a game built around navigation-based challenges that require the mastery of a specific set of character movement mechanics, Super Mario Ball. So this video never ends. We're almost halfway there. Mario Pinball Land to be a mainline Super Mario game could see this definition and agree with it. And I think that's fair. Mario games have a pretty. I am posting a poll for y'all. So why not count Donkey? Donkey Kong Country 2, or Wario Land 4, or Yoshi's New Island. As I'll let you guys decide this how much time left. Yoshi's Island to be the <clears> right sequel <throat> to Super Mario World. So Probably like two or three hours. Yoshi's Island series, including Junior. She's spoiled as hell. You play as Stanley from Greenhouse, excluding weird two to three hours of the challenge, out of seventeen games, which is probably like three or four hours. So this isn't technically true. Like the player character in the arcade game Donkey Kong is named Mario. He wasn't named Mario when this game came out, but he is named Mario now, so it's inaccurate to say this character isn't Mario, and it is paratext that this game takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom. In older games like this, it's common for okay, all the to story details to be left unstated. I'm surprised you guys aren't so loving this video. Paratext to get the full picture. But it's important to remember, you can't analyze paratext the same I think, way you analyze text without jumping on it first. I think that video has inspired me to make something similar. Released, there was some paratext. Rosie, you must go. The Donkey Kong Goes Home album. Alright, see ya, homie. Donkey Kong cereal. All right, see you, dude. I'll just let you sort of awkwardly shuffle off now. Sky Mario. Yes, he was called Jumpman, but his name is Mario. History of Mario, both the character and the right. franchise. Yes, it's very yeah, different from things that came after it. But like that's what happens when something goes on for as long as Mario has. Things change. Tetris with time. viewers. At the origin point and say it doesn't count because it's too. Different. What does that mean? Feels like all right. Too many words from that guy, and not sure all of them were English.
There's only like 20 minutes left. Well, people are going to be excited when we double back on that. As an in-between. <laughs> 